Hi everyone, so I am back with another declutter video. You all seem to be loving these declutter videos and as brutal as I am in them and as much as I whinge in them about getting rid of my makeup and things, um, it has been the best thing for me to do. Um, I also just want to quickly say anyone who's purchased one of the um, mystery makeup bundle bags from me, thank you so much that has helped me declutter and it's just kind of give me a little bit money back to you know um do something else with um so yeah it is nice so obviously i do have more declutter videos to do so i probably will have more um like mystery bundle bags it is five items for 10 pound and uk postage is three pound fifty um I do post international if you are international and you do want a mystery bag and um, just message me on Instagram and we will work out um like international postage and stuff but yeah enough blabbering on you all know I have done my lip declutter video but I didn't do my MAC lipsticks in that because I think that video was something like 50 something minutes long and if I included this it would have just been like ridiculous so I did say in that video that I was doing my MAC lipsticks separately um so I do kind of have two holders full of lipsticks and I have some in the box here and um, I've got my trusty baby wipes here so I can like if I do swatches on my hands and things I can wash them off and stuff like that so I'm going to dive in I am first going to see if there is any lipsticks in here that don't smell good or they've turned colour or anything like that if they've lost the vanilla scent I am just going to back to MAC them they're not going to be binned because I don't know if you guys are away I'm sure you already are but if you have six um, MAC empties you can take them back to MAC and you can get I think it's either a free lipstick or I think in the US they can get a free eyeshadow and a free lip gloss as well but I'm sure in the UK it's only a free lipstick so I do have um some other mac empties to go back anyway i've got like foundation bottles pigment things and stuff like that so any that are no good they're not going to be binned they're going to be put into back to mac so yeah enough blabbering i'm just literally going to go through them um i think what we'll start with is these ones here in the box um so we have happy go lucky i think we'll just get these ones out the box out the way first happy go lucky is like a really has this even been used? I think this may have like literally just been swatched. It smells absolutely perfect. Um, I do know that I do have another bright pink as well. Silly. I'm sure Silly is a bright pink as well. I just want to kind of check them. Uh, so Silly's more of a like cooler tone, whereas this one's more of a warm tone. So, although on camera they probably don't look that different, they actually are. Um, I think I'm actually going to get rid of Happy Go Lucky, I think. Hang on, I just need to. Let's check it with Kelly Yum Yum. I do want to keep one, but I don't know which one I want to keep. Let me have a look. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to keep Kelly Yum Yum. I'm going to get rid of Happy Go Lucky. It's literally been swatched and that's it. I do still have the box. So I will probably list that one on my Instagram or Depop. So that one's going to go. I'm going to keep this Kelly Yum Yum one. I don't even know why I'm keeping the boxes actually. Strip poker. I think this is a nude. And you all know what I'm like for a nude. And it smells perfect. That is a good nude. Oh my God. Did I even show you that? That's a really good nude, so I'm going to keep that one as well. And what else do we have? What was this one again? This was Silly. Um, I think this has probably been used like, maybe it's like one, two times. You can see on that it's, and it still smells absolutely fine. I think I'm going to get rid of Silly, you know. I just think I am. I just... <sighs> We'll put that to one side. Yeah, I think I'm getting rid. Please me again. I'm sure please me is another pink matte. But I do like this colour. This is not kind of like a bright pink. So I'm going to keep please me. I feel like I'm not even doing any swatches here. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. I do like that. 
So we'll keep that. Then we have Sweet Experience. I do really like this colour. Um, this is an amplified. I love this actually. I do, I do, I do. I really love this. I'm definitely keeping that one. Again, I'm just smelling them as I go. And it smells absolutely fine. So I'm going to keep that one. I think I might just get rid of the boxes for some of these. I know that I am keeping Betty Bright. Um, it's just like a gorgeous kind of peachy orangey colour. Um, and I do love my peachy orangey colours. So I'm going to keep that one. How cute is the packaging though? I absolutely... I used to be such a Mac hoarder back in the day when all their collections used to come out. And I used to be like, oh my god, I need it all. But their packaging was the best back in the day. Matte Steady Going. This is a matte lipstick. Um, I think this has only been swatched. I don't think I've actually used this. This is this one and it's a matte lipstick. Um, I think I am going to depart with this one. I am. I'm going to be good and let that one go. So that's them, okay? So now... Um, let me just wipe these ones off and then we'll get into what is in the lipstick holders. Let's wipe those off. Right, okay. So, we have Angel and I'm keeping this one. I do love this lipstick. It smells absolutely fine. And you can see I have used like a good amount of this one. Why is this not focusing there? You can see that I have used a good amount of this one. This is just the most gorgeous softest shade ever apparently this is like one of kim kardashian's favorite lipstick i mean i did not get it for kim kardashian because of her or anything like that but i do really like the color of this on myself next up we have myth and this is a satin i've used a really good amount of this one as well but this one absolutely stinks so this one is going to go back to mac i'm just going to have two piles to the side of me um the ones that are back to mac and the ones that stink and things like that um next up we have high tea and this is more like it's like a metallic you want to say it's a luster let me just smell this this one actually smells still vanilla -y. um and it's just like a like a shimmery glaze i think i'm actually going to keep a hold of that and try and use that up it's more like a glossy lip then we have cherish again another nude you all know i'm a sucker for a nude smells fine let's swatchy swatchy this one yeah i do love that one i really like that one so we'll keep that then we have snob snob was an absolute classic as well and you can see i did use quite a lot of this one it seems to have like melted slightly this one actually still smells good this is more like um a lilac -y one i'm actually going to keep that you know it does still smell good and i do quite like the color so i'm going to keep a hold of that one then we have pink nouveau and this is one that i did like as well i think i've just put lipstick on my nose <laughs> um yeah this one still smells good as well so let's have a look that is what that one looks like Um, it feels a little bit slack in the thing but i'm going to keep a hold of that oh no 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 Whoa. okay i guess that is going in the back to mac because i am not messed about with that so that one is going i do like that shade i would have kept that but it's broke so it's going to go in the back to mac then we have this Ahoy There lipstick. This one was limited edition. Like, look. I've just put, like, a total lipstick print there. Look how gorgeous this is. Can you see the reflect pink in that colour? Um, let me just swatch. This is stunning. Smells absolutely perfect as well. Some of these lipsticks I have had for the longest time. But honestly, if they still smell good, I'm still going to use them. So I do really like that colour. I need to bust these lipsticks out again. Oh my God, who actually remembers Saint Germain. This was one that I had used loads as well. Let's have a smell. Oh my God, it still smells of vanilla. Um, This is Saint Germain. It kind of looks a little bit like... 
well, no, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. St. Germain is a classic. And like I say, it still smells good. So I'm keeping it. Then we have Flamingo. Um, still smells of vanilla. Um, this is more like a, like a corally colour. Let me just have a little... Um, swatch. I feel like all of these are kind of like pinks on here. And now we are going to do a coral. So I'll swatch that down here. That is what that one looks like. And it is a lustre. So it's more kind of like shimmery satiny on the lips. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, and by the way, I did declutter my MAC lipsticks a while ago and I got rid of some then. So I'm probably not going to get rid of a huge amount today. But nonetheless, I did still want to do it. So now we have Force of Love. And again, this is a corally one as well. Where can we swatch this? I'll swatch it there. I love that colour. Still smells of vanilla. Keeping, keeping, keeping. Then this is another one of my favourites. Viva Glam Nikki. Oh, it's quite similar to... No, it's not actually. I love that. I'm keeping it. Still smells of vanilla. Love, love, love. Then we have Sandy Bay. And I only have a tiny bit left of that. Let's have a smell of this. That is actually lost its scent so i am gonna depart with that one and back to mac it um then we have chatterbox i do really like this chatterbox color i used to mix chatterbox and creme de nude together that is chatterbox there again this this is an amplified but it looks like shiny on there as well um let's have a smell it still smells fine, but I don't know whether I want to keep this one. It's nothing like... Mm, I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for now. We'll just pop that to one side. Right, I'm going to have to wipe these swatches off because I'm running out of space. Um... <laughs> Lipstick's totally steam. Right, next up we have Hair Fancy. And this is like literally barely even being used at all. It's a gorgeous kind of shimmery nude with gold flecks in. This is a glaze finish. Let me just have a smell. Smells fine to me. Let's switchy swatch this. So this is what that one looks like. Um, it's really, really pretty. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think I might actually get rid of this one i'm gonna i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it then we have giddy and oh this must have been one of my faves because i've literally um used quite a lot of this i need to bust these lipsticks out again i feel like sometimes because i have a dressing table and i'm tending to just use what's in my dressing table drawers whereas the big drawers where my makeup's stored i kind of need to switch things up a little bit um, and just take things out of my big drawers and put them into my dressing table. This is a giddy. I'm going to hold on to this and try and use this one up. I do like that one. Then we have Runway Hit. This is like a more nude one. This is quite a new one to my collection. It still smells of perfect vanilla. This is a matte one. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to let that one go. I have a million nudes anyway. This one is pink plaid, pink plaid. And this is quite nice. Let's have a smell. This smells fine as well. Let's have a look at this. I do like that colour. I am going to keep that. And then the last one in here is a rose romance. And I've used quite a bit of this one. Let's have a smell. It doesn't smell bad at all. Um, let's have a little swatch. That is what that looks like. I do really like that one as well. So nice. Those would look that like this one would look lovely as a topper for that one as well. So I'm gonna keep a hold of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop these back into here, the ones that I am keeping. Um so, I'll pop those back into there. And then we'll just pop these boxed ones in the front for now. Um, da, da, da. 
So we have one space left in there, which is not bad, but I will go back to that maybe pile at the end. So then I am moving on to this second tray. This is more of my limited addiction addiction limited edition lipsticks and just look at the packaging on some of these i absolutely love them but yeah let's dive in and see what we're going to keep and what we're going to get rid of so i'm going to start with this one i think this is from the neo sci-fi collection and this is in the shade pleasure seeker i already know i'm keeping this this is absolutely one of my favorite lipsticks ever it's gorgeous and it still smells perfect so i'm keeping that one then we have a lipstick in the shade Everhip and I think this is from the Liberty of London collection. So oh, this is so nice as well. Smelling them. I'm just smelling them all as I go just to make sure that none are kind of off. Again, I'm keeping that. I don't know what it is. I love corally, pinky shades, everything like that this one i'm keeping this one as well i love this this was from the kelly osborne collection this is in the shade riot house again it smells absolutely perfect i love this it might look really really scary on like the swatch there but honestly on the lips like you only need a tiny little bit just dab it on the lips and then kind of spread it um, and again this color would look amazing over the top of that one i'm keeping that then we have Arrowhead lipstick. I forget what collection this was from, but the packaging is super cute. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. This is like super duper duper nude. It still smells perfect. Now, I know that it's super duper nude. This is the colour here, but I feel like it would be a good one to keep in my collection to um, wear and tone down other lipsticks. So I am actually keeping that. Then we have a MAC Faffy collection. Who can remember this collection? This was huge when it was out. This is in the shade Not So Innocent. And this is an actual, like, this is a gorgeous one as well. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this does have, like, reflex running through it as well. Um, smells fine. Let's have a look. Oh, can you guys see that? I'm keeping it. I'm not doing I'm not doing very well on this one. I'm at, I know that I'm keeping this one as well and I loved this packaging. This was the Alluren Aquatics. Like how amazing is this packaging? It's like little rain droplets. This is in the shade Enchanted One. This is like a nude but more of a darker nude. Um everybody went wild for this lipstick as well. That is what that looks like. That's just a real classic nude. Um <clears throat> Just while I'm on this as well, I do also have a Velvet Teddy lipstick. Um, and I think it's quite... Actually, let me just grab it. Give me two seconds, guys. I'm just going to grab it out of my dressing table. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, totally knocked the camera there. So I have Velvet Teddy here. I'm going to swatch it next to this Enchanted Me one. Let's have a look at them, actually. Um there is a bit yeah there's a bit of a difference let's just do the swatch where will i do the swatch um yeah there is there is actually a difference yeah um obviously i'm keeping velvet teddy as well that's one that i've been wearing daily at the moment this is the mac the riri heart mac collection this is rihanna's collection with them and this is in the shade pleasure balm i absolutely love this lipstick this is a lipstick that i tend to wear on nights out it's not one that i would wear during the day but on a night out when i'm dressed up and things it looks absolutely stunning i will never get rid of that one and um, so that is that one i'm just gonna wipe these swatches off because we have a few more to swatch there so what do we have next? This is the Patrick Star collection and this is in the shade She Better Work. She Better Work. That one. And the, oh, this is a stunning nude as well, man. What are you doing to me? <gasps> keeping, keeping, keeping. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Then we have pure decoration this is one that i absolutely love as well this is kind of more an of like an orangey tone nude um oh god 
How stunning. Let's have a smell. It smells fine to me. I really, really need to use some of these lipsticks up. These two are from the Mariah Carey collection. So this one is McIzzle, McIzzle. And these are nudes as well. Look how cute the butterfly is on them as well. And it does have like a signature around the band there. So let's swatch this one. I love that. I am keeping that one. And then this is in the shade Bit of Bubbly. And this is like more of a... I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah. Do you know what? I'm keeping them both. It's so hard to pick up. I don't care. I'm keeping them both. Let's have a smell of that one. Perfect. I'm actually surprised at how many of my lipsticks still smell really good. This lipstick is like so battered and like it melted a little bit, but I absolutely love it. This is in the shade Salute. It still smells of vanilla. This is like, can you guys say that? This one here, I'm keeping it. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Um, then we have a luster lipstick in naturally, come on focus, naturally eccentric, whoa, whoa, this one is like nearly white, this still smells of vanilla, and that is like, it's, I don't even think you can see the swatch, let's see if I can swatch it down here, do you know what, it's actually like, it is actually really nice and it's a glossy one so it kind of i'm keeping it <laughs> i'm keeping it that's it done i'm keeping it i'm not very good at part with my matte lipsticks they're like my babies and i love them um we have a viva glam ariana grande 2 i don't even think i've used this one like i haven't i've literally swatched it and that is it this is the most stunning color ever and oh god i absolutely love it it is so 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 beautiful like can you see it's like a pinky purple smells amazing still but i am going to depart with that one i'm going to get rid of that because it's not one that i wear quite often um and i really do want to start getting the wear out of my lipstick so i'm going to depart with that one um then we have another um, Nicki Minaj lipstick. This is in the shade Nicki's Nude. And this one's really, really nice as well. Let's have a look. Oh my God. Keep them. Smells amazing. Keeping it. Right. Then we have this um, Peach Stock lipstick from the Liberty of London collection. Let's have a look. Do you know what? I'm so sad. This lipstick actually stinks. It really, really does smell. It's such a gorgeous colour though. Can you see that colour? I'm going to have to get rid of that because it really does smell. I'm so gutted. Like, it's barely even been used, but it stinks. So that is going to have to go, unfortunately. Then we have Blankety. This is like literally one of my faves. I think I've purchased this like a couple of times. Oh my God. It stinks. What am I doing? That is what that one looks like, but it's going to have to go because it smells. Um, then we have Honey Love. I love Honey Love. As you can tell, I only have a little bit left of this one. Let's swatch it. This is Honey Love here. Still smells of vanilla. Keeping that one. Then we have this. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's M-L-L-E. Is it Mill? Mill? I don't know. Um this is like let's have a smell this one still smells of vanilla this is like a gorgeous kind of pinky very very soft like pastely nude and that is what it looks like there i am going to keep that one then we have hue oh which is gone all gone so that's obviously going to go back to mac and um, then we have creme de nude this i love this as well you can see how messed up this is these cream sheen lipsticks i feel like these really really like melt um still smells bloody gorgeous 
let me just do a little swatch of this one for you yeah these these lipsticks are like really really creamy that is that one look at the state of that but i'm adamant i'm going to use it up before i just back to mac it so i'm keeping that plain koi oh my god plain plain koi this is a satin lipstick this is like smells amazing this is just like another nude you all know what i'm like for nudes i can't help it and this is this one so i'm gonna keep that then we have brew this was like a sample one um so let's have a look at this one. Oh, it's a bit smushed and mushed look at the state of that how on earth has it getting like that don't know what the hell's happened there mm, it still smells okay but obviously like it's really really battered so let me just do a little swatch oh it's actually really nice as well let's have a look i mean you got oh, do you know what it's going look at the state of it can you say that like what the hell has happened to that it still smells but is that a cream sheen oh i don't know it says sample so i don't know right that one's going because it's just horrendously messed up and um, i'm gonna rub this off and then we are down to the last one and the last one is creme cup and i am keeping this one because this is a fave as well you can tell like i've used quite a lot of that classic color i love it looks absolutely stunning on the lips and this is a cream sheen one as well so it's shiny it's soft it's beautiful i'm keeping that so we are at the end of that so hang on i'm gonna pop all of these back into actually do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put these ones in here in the boxes i don't know why i'm keeping them in the boxes i will take them out but just for now um they will just go in there just pop these back into here it's so satisfying when stuff just like fits um oh my god oh my god i've run out so oops a daisy i'm just gonna take one of these original things and that goes in there okay so we have this full one and then we have this one which has some space in the front now to the side of me here i do have this one lipstick in the shade chatterbox um that was put in the maybe pile and this is what this looks like let's have a smell it does still smell of vanilla i just want to swatch it again um oh i don't know what to do oh, do you know what i'm just gonna keep it for now i'm gonna keep it for now so that is that right so i'm gonna show you how many i have got rid of so these are the ones that are going to be backed to mac because they stink so we have three four five six seven so we have seven to go back to mac and then eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i've got rid of 13 altogether six i am going to list on my depop or instagram or something because they are still all quite new and they still smell perfectly fine and then obviously like i say these seven are going to be like back to mac so out of that i don't think we've done too bad getting rid of 13 lipsticks and um, so let me just count how many i have all together now so we have three six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight so i now have a grand total of thirty eight mac lipsticks i could possibly have more because known me some will be in my handbags and stuff somewhere but yes i am happy with that and i hope you have all enjoyed the video um and yes please keep um like obviously checking back my well actually please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell because i am going to make this declutter thing into a whole series i've done palettes already i've done lip products now i've done this um mac lipstick collection i'm also going to do um like pigments and glitters i'm going to do eyeliners face products things like that so make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of that and yeah thank you so much for watching everybody and i will see you all in the next video bye